How to build a RAID on a Max Pro NVR PE Rev B. Start by locating the HWAM icon on the desktop and double click it to launch the RAID utility. If the HWAM icon isn't present, you can also access the utility by typing http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 81 in Internet Explorer. Locate the SAS RAID controller option in the tree on the left and expand it to find the ARC RAID controller card and click it. The login prompt will pop up. The default credentials are username admin and password 0000. The main page shows the current RAID status and the status of the physical drives. This NVR has no RAID but does have four physical drives. To build a RAID, click the RAID Set Hierarchy folder on the left, then click Create RAID Set. Select all the drives you wish to add to the RAID Set, then click Confirm Operation and Submit. Next, select the Volume Set Functions folder on the left, then click Create Volume Set. Make sure your RAID Set is selected and then click Submit. You'll see a lot of options on this menu, but there are only two to worry about. The first is Volume RAID Level. Supported on these units are RAID 5 and RAID 6. RAID 5 will allow more storage, but only allows for one drive to fail and still maintain data integrity. RAID 6 offers less storage, but allows for two drives to fail and still maintain data integrity. The default Max Pro PE unit ship with is RAID 5. The initialization method is the other option to check. Foreground is faster, but you will have to wait for the RAID to fully build before being able to use it. Background allows you to use the volume immediately while it's still building. Typically, you'll want to select background initialization. Once the choices are made, click confirm the operation and then click submit. Return to the RAID set hierarchy page and verify that the RAID is initializing. Finally, we need to format the volume for Windows and assign it a drive letter. From the Start menu, type Disk Management and then click the option that pops up for Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Immediately, you will be prompted to initialize the disk for MBR or GPT. You'll need to keep it set to GPT and then click OK. Now you should see an unallocated disk. Right-click anywhere in this box and click New Simple Volume. Click Next to use the full storage amount, choose a drive letter, and assign it a label. We recommend Video Storage as the label for easy recognition. Then click Next and Finish. This will format the volume and assign it a drive letter. The drive is now ready to be added as a recording drive in Max Pro NVR. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Go to HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.